This is, hello folks, this is my uh, back to Eden pasture. Um, this part here was done January, about the tw 21st of January. The part in the back was done the first part of January. It's still a little bit of spottiness, but you can see that the grass is growing and probably by the end, you know, we haven't had that much heat yet, so it uh, it's going to be uh, uh, filling in and I put some sweet clover, not sweet clover, but white clover in there. But you notice how these sheep are eating the tips? The reason for that is the carbohydrates and sugars are higher in the top. The bottom is where the protein is. So if they eat the tips, they're getting a lot more carbohydrates and sugars, which they need for milk production. I give them alfalfa hay, so that gives them the protein they need for the milk production, but they're after the sweetness, which substitutes for grain if they have them tips, if you notice how they're eating there. I don't know what the bricks is here, but uh, I need to get a meter and then I can check it, but that compost I'm sure is very, very good. Uh, you can see how they're eating. Uh, they're just going nuts over this, so that's a good sign. So. Uh, you should let your pastures get to this state so that you get them sugars. That's what they need to fatten up. And that's how you get grass-fed beef and, and sheep and stuff is without grain is to uh, have your grass grow taller so you get that carbohydrates in the tips and they'll eat that and they get plenty of protein. You just get that from the legumes and stuff that you have. That's my ram over there. He's isolated from the ewes here. So and I got ten baby lambs. I had one with triplets. And uh, they're doing all doing real well. Uh, they're starting to eat grass. Uh, the, March 15th was my first set of twins. And uh, since then, uh, uh, the last one was born on April 1st. So that's what's going on. I'm going to show you the pasture here. This is the pasture that, that I put that compost on. And uh, you can see it. It's, it's, you know, there's some spots where it's not filled in yet, but we, we're supposed to get some, some uh, warmer weather, which will benefit, you know, a lot here. And we're supposed to be up in the mid 70s, so. That will help this pasture a lot, but it is spotty in this a little bit, but everything looks very healthy. I noticed down on the end there, the moles moved in. There must be a lot of worms in the ground. Uh, the moles are just going nuts in a certain spot over there. I really put it thick over there in that spot. So it's going to take a while to fill in, but you can see back in the back of this field. This is older. This was done in January 1st, and uh, it's really filling in nice. It's going to take another probably six months really to come into its own because there's still a lot of wood that hasn't broke down yet and uh, it needs to. So uh, that's what it looks like now. And this part over here was where the big compost pile and I spread it out and I reseeded it with some rye grass and some clover. And uh, there's my few fruit trees I got in the middle of the field. That's for the animals to eat and shade, so it gives them some carbohydrates again and that's what they need. And so that's kind of how it looks here. And the sheep are doing real well. They're out there eating them tips. That's where it's all at, so uh, we'll see you later. Bye.